Okay. I saw this on LinkedIn. There was, I'll link his name in the post, but there was somebody who talked to chat GPT to try to build architecture. And so of course I needed to find out if it could logically build games architecture, which is some of the most complicated architecture in the world. So we're going to start with <laughs> something really simple. <laughs> Can you design me an AWS architecture for a game API flow for purchasing? Sure, here is a possible architecture for a game API flow for purchasing using AWS. The user's device sends a request to the game API to initiate a purchase. The game API, which is hosted on Amazon EC2 Compute Cloud or ECS, oh my God, name dropped containers, okay, receives the request and validates it. The game API then sends a request to an Amazon DynamoDB table to retrieve the account information and details of the purchase. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. It even added an SQS queue which acts as a buffer to store the purchase request and prevent the game API from being overwhelmed with requests. This has to be from like one of my friend's blogs or something. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. I just wanna see if it can keep going. So some of y'all know I work for Zanga. Uh, doing Kubernetes. Obviously don't tell chat services your architectures, but let's see if it knows what Kubernetes is. It knew it knew ECS. Okay, so we're going to say I want to host Kubernetes can be used for a lot of things just for the world out here. Like there are all kinds of workloads using microservices. I want to host microservices architecture for games hosting for a multiplayer game and put my matchmaking on it. How do I do this? Let's see what it says. It assumed I meant AWS. So that's, that's probably maybe because I was talking about it before. I've heard this service like keeps in mind your previous conversation. It still wants me to use ECS, which I find is is hilarious because there's a lot of people who are debating, you know, ECS, Kubernetes, Fargate. I don't know if it assumes ECS because we were already talking about ECS. Um, it said Cognito to manage user identities. That is already assuming a lot about the architecture itself. But I do find it interesting that the service knows that you would actually need to pass some kind of user data in order to perform matchmaking. Absolutely. There are things missing. So this is amazing for a chat service. There are definitely things missing from this that would not be considered up to speed for this type of architecture. Um, what I'm going to do is refresh this whole thing and try again and see if it can get closer to kind of like what a newer architecture pattern would be for microservices. 